Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another episode of GD Theories. As I'm sure you're all aware, recently, Zender Game has released his greatest masterpiece, White Space. If you haven't heard of it yet, it is an art and story level which the decoration in my opinion is just gorgeous. However, it's one major flaw, which is really unfortunate in my opinion, is that the gameplay is basically unsight readable, it's really hard to tell what the heck you're supposed to do. Now, this level has a darker secret connected to lore, and it reveals the fork of my current timeline. I personally think this level can be interpreted in two different ways, which either one could split up my current theory for how this whole Zender game so timeline plays out. Due to the amount of this content in this level, I'll have to split this theories into two videos just for the sake of time. Both of these videos won't go into the two theories, but rather just dissect the level itself and explain its secrets. Those two theories will be just explained at another time. White Space is unique in the Zender Game series, mostly because it is the only wet level that seems to have like a clear story or a clear meaning driving it, except perhaps maybe Shards of Siberia or the Eschaton. You can tell immediately that there is something wrong with invisible voice and text at, help, at calling for help, asking us, Are you still there? Can you hear me? And with the words, wake, here, stay, day, that, worry, not, followed by another here, flashing in the background, just on these weird, like, chain thingies, with the voice continuing, saying, let us escape this white space. This all happens while the level kind of starts to glitch out like crazy, and we transition into the next segment. In this segment, we get to see the train for the first time. Now, I'm going to take a moment to explain this here, since it's clear that the train is important, important as even in Zender's announcements post on his profile detailing the level's release. Well when the level was supposed to release several months before it actually got released. Throughout the level, one can see that this train takes us to a place called Memory Tower, a tower in the middle of a city where, presumably, memories are stored or reset or something like that. This train also seems to have the ability to show one's memories based on gameplay late, late in the level, although this can be explained through other means. Either way, it's proven significant. Now, this is where the first part of the theory split makes itself known, so I'll be really brief here. Um, the train can either represent a metaphor, a symbol of moving on, or a symbol of going through life, or like a literal train taking part in like the Zender virtual universe that he created. Um, now, right before we get to the um, drop, there's some um, two more things that can be found right before it. Uh, those being the phrase, remember I tried and remember I want in the train section and a sign saying next stop. Along with some console errors, if you actually go into the level, they are console errors saying like error or something. I forget what it is. I will show a picture down on screen. In the background and a segment of the train as you fly into it before transitions into the drop. Another thing worth noting are the letters spelling out of memory dangling faintly in the background. Now we get to the drop and the text that day to see and memory hang from strings while the gameplay spirals into madness and the level glitches out once more. There is a series of apartment buildings behind there, but two main things of note can be found in this one little spider section. The first being a picture of primitive picture with four people on it, a mother, father, sister, and brother. Since the sister being presumably being the younger of the two, even though she could have just been shorter. The second is a heart rate monitor, with the conditions reading that our subject is unstable and in a coma. Next, a bunch of chains appears with a scissors and another thing, which I can't really detect, seem to figure out what it is, and with the words fate and hour appearing as well. In the first dark section, we can see the words dad, guilt, mom, and most eerily of all, Rosie, the latter the only one being in white. And if I'm correct in remembering the level correctly, it's also the only one that is not in that same kind of like types like that Times New Roman font and does not dangle. F faintly a sign says next stop dark space. That's this is only on frame screen for like a couple of frames, I'm pretty sure. This is kind of where like the notion or the feeling that you, the player, like messed up, you did something wrong. Something bad happened or whatever. Something that they haven't gotten over, something that's been haunting them forever. This is where this kind of starts to take place where he, like Rosie is very vis like very visible while dad, mom, and guilt are all kind of hidden into the background. At least I'm pretty sure they are. The next sections don't really have that much important, just a map saying road trip, a diary, four graves, which um, do not have any text on them, they're just garbled it, gibberish, a stop sign, and a sign, which this one says next stop time space. The next section has the words this space is about to flash on the screen, then it cuts off, a bunch of clocks, and then it goes into a hand reaching for the sky, the words stay hanging, and a sticky note saying where, and a diary. And then a train with the header 32 down, which I don't know what that means still, like is it a gameplay reference or whatever. 
and attacks all stations too, memory tower, white space. And another dangly word, this one saying closer. Then we go then we go into a subway which has a sign saying next stop memory tower and again a schedule which I'll show on screen since there's a lot of information on there and a blinking warning reading warning exiting white space. Um, this next section will be the last section I cover in this video due to its out outrageous length or GD theories already, but this is also the most fascinating part in the level. First off, there's a building in the background which flashes a billboard, and then there's a bulletin board with several photos, notes, which if you go into the level editor, which I did for you, and read from left to right, they read this, top to bottom. 1084762 and what looks like a picture of someone in prison um several sticky notes one of them being saying operation white space another one saying the vr tech this groundbreaking take will save the world and one final one no correction another one saying doctors no do not overuse another one never rely your life inside a v vr world and then a plea wake up this is the most creepy of all. In the middle, there's what's left, are you ready, what can you save, and good old Boss 3 Electro's like the virus face appearing in the middle of the billboard as well. On the right, there's a newspaper article reading, Soul Survivor, Survived Under a State of Coma, and then sim a picture simply reading, um, 3rd of February. This is where the, the sickening realization of perhaps what the player has done comes to light, which, which is kind of enforced by a phone flashing briefly it's almost impossible to read the text in the actual level so go if you go into the editor and blow up the text you can read a text from rosie matt road trip tomorrow remember this was on january 2nd 2017 and another text from matt or us in this case which is kind of like how it seems that the series is playing out in the perspective of this matt character and um the text from matt reads i miss you ross i am sorry which is from March 2nd, 2037, a whole decade, it's a whole two decades after this original incident occurred or whatever. Now, I miss you, Ross, that might be a typo. I'm not for sure whether that's supposed to be MSU Rose or whether, I guess, a nickname for Rosie was Ross. That I can't really ever confirm. But these are arguably the most notable and, like, eerie objects inside of the entire section. And they're really hard to see, too. Like. You, they only flash briefly in the actual level. There's only a few other objects of note, um, being one of them being the text, you have reached the very end, nothing left to save, and the save kind of glitches out on the bottom. And a sign saying face reality, and of course, memory tower in the background, which around midway through the part and where the text says nothing left to save, it like bursts into this big color of light and starts shining, this, this, and this big beam of light starts shooting out from it, and it looks really awesome. And this, folks, is where I'll end today's video. This is arguably the longest or one of the longest scripts I've ever written at one and a half pages. And the scary part is it's only around one fourth of the way complete because I still have to write the one that takes place in dark space and the two theory ones. But the two theory ones should be shorter, but I'll still make those two separate videos just for the sake of time since, you know, my longer videos don't do very well. And this video is already like eight, nine-ish minutes. There is so much to dissect about this level, but I feel like this video is packed into the most of it. Dark Space seems to be more expl expl explanatory, I can't speak, and there are less hidden things. I mean, there's the TV section, which has a bunch of flashing text, which is going to be a real joy to try to write all down. But really, I think the first half of the level, what I covered, is more like you discovering what happened, and the second half is more of you being haunted by what happened. Uh... From what we know so far, something terrible has happened to the player, Matt, and his family, with him supposedly being the only su survivor, which we can presume by that newspaper article from earlier. Um, in order to survive after his coma, or maybe in his coma, he had to go through what I guess we can only really describe as VR therapy or whatever, based on the doctor's note, which allowed him to survive the tragedy. There's a lot more to unpack, but this video is already getting long enough. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. This video took a long time to make. It was a long time into working. And also, I just had to find enough time to just sit down and write this entire script. Because it's like one and a half pages long or whatever. Uh, and feel free to share it around. As like, I'd like as many GD fans to find out about this fascinating lore as possible. As I feel it's underappreciated. I feel like most people just play through the levels without finding like the bulk of this. Anyways, everyone, thank you for watching and goodbye.